in this video i'm going to show you why you should use visual effects why it is so important for us filmmakers to use visual effects always always don't skip a shot without doing visual effects on it because otherwise how else would you replace this super boring sun-kissed orange soda with an amazing coke because sun-kissed is definitely not my favorite Now I'm going to show you how you can make an amazing effect like that yourself right now. So we are going to be working with Blender today. The first thing we need to do is making a cylinder which kind of looks like our Coke. It's just a placeholder so it doesn't have to be perfect but more or less it should look the same. So I'm making a cylinder, I bevel the edges on top a little and we are done. The next step is we have to use a tracker you can use the blender tracker or i just started using the geo tracker it's for free it's in the link in the description if you want to use it too but i'm going to tell you more about the geo tracker in a future tutorial so we analyze our footage it basically helps the software to understand the camera movement once the camera movement is analyzed what we need to change is the focal length of our camera. I was shooting this visual effects shot on my iPhone because that's how you do movie making these days. So my focal length is 26 millimeter. Now I select camera and start pin mode. Now in my pin mode, I can adjust the pins. So my camera is perfectly aligned with my object. So the green thing, what you see is just the cylinder I just made and you know, this is the very boring orange sun kiss replace it with a coke can so once we think we align the camera properly now we track forward we can see how beautifully it is tracking the orange sun kiss and that's exactly what we want now it's replaced with the placeholder we created in the beginning so all we need to do now is just replace it with the coke can and there we go our effect is pretty much done now you just make yourself a shadow catcher so we can catch those shadows off our coke can and of course go to your object settings visibility and click on shadow catcher or the shadow catcher so it doesn't render this boring white image you just want the shadow on it and in order to have shadow you need light so we're placing the area light somewhere where we believe the real light is coming from which is somewhere but up here so i'm gonna bring it also up here now we render this effect so make sure to go to your file output settings i have my shadow catcher separately i have my video separately choose a folder of your liking to render this and now click on render render animation and the rest is going to be done in compositing in after effects now we're here in after effects our scene is rendered and now we just have to mix this image this video here with what we just rendered but first what we need to do is get this stupid can out of here so i basically mask the general can i track this mask forward and then i use the content aware fill in after effects to remove the can once and for all but the content aware fill didn't do a perfect job it did do a fine job but not perfect so i created a second mask for it where i actually need this content aware which is mostly on top of my sequence now i'm gonna bring in my cg image and i split it also into maybe you can see that that on the bottom here this is a little blurry and the top here is almost perfectly sharp so i split my image into two the bottom side i duplicated it the bottom side has a gaussian blur filter on it and the top side also has one but a little weaker so it looks a little like the focus fall off goes down i also did a few color adjustments removed the contrast a little made the blacks a little gray the whites a little gray remove the sharpness just to make it more look like the actual image and on top of all of this i put a blur on everything besides this mask so i obviously animated this mask too just to integrate my soda can also with my actual image and here you go this is the result and i hope this video really showed you how 
important visual effects are and we filmmakers we cannot live without them and frankly we should never do anything without visual effects so anything you can fix in post you should thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video Toodoo.